Let's try to solve some inequalities with absolute function. Okay, the first one here is absolute of x is less than or equal to 4. Okay, so let's try to understand this and then to work out a way so that we can do this one is simpler than the other one, but let's try to understand this one first. Now here what do we see is that if I have to plot my function absolute x, then how will it look like? So absolute x is kind of like this, right? And you define this function as uh, absolute x is equals to, it's kind of a piecewise function, right? When x is greater than or equal to 0, it is same as x. So on this side of the x-axis, it is positive of x. Now here, you know, x has negative values, but absolute x has positive values. So absolute x becomes negative of x if x is less than 0, right? So that is how it becomes. Now if we have to solve the question given to us, it basically means that if, let us say this is 4 for us, then absolute x is less than or equal to 4 means this region. Correct? So what is the value here? Value here will be plus 4 and value here will be minus 4, right? So we are interested in absolute x less than or equal to 4. That means we are within the domain of minus 4 to plus 4 including both of them. Do you see that? Including we'll put filled in circles here to include, right? Where well, this is also 4. So this is what we are trying to say. So everything under the curve here is less than or equal to 4. What I'm trying to say is here. Do you see this region? This region. So that is our solution set, right? So on a number line, I can always write this solution as, let's say this is our 0 and that's 4. Then including this point and then here up to 4, right? So it is from minus 4 to plus 4. 0 in the center. That is how we can say graphically the solution of this problem is. right? And if you want to do it algebraically, then what we can do is we can always write this because we know less than or equal to means within a defined re region. right? So we can always write this as absolute x is actually equals to x or when it is greater than or equal to 0. right? So on this side it is less than or equal to 4 but when it comes to this side, then it should be greater than or equal to minus 4. Do you see that? So this inequality can be written as a double inequality where x is within minus 4 to plus 4. So that's how we get the solution for this kind of equation. Okay. Now, if you have a question like this, then what we will do is, we will say if our function is less than or equal to 4, that means it is within plus and minus 4 limit. Right? Do you understand by definition what are, what are we trying to say here? We are saying that x is within minus 4 and plus 4. Correct? Now here we have a different scenario. Here it is x minus 1 and not x. Right? So if we try to sketch this function, Then what happens? x minus 1 means that we this absolute function moved one unit to the right, correct? So it is like this. And when we say that it is less than or equal to 4, then we mean to say is that, let's say this is 4 for us, this region. Right? So here is 0 and it is, so that is 4 for us. So what are these values? To find these values, what we can do is, 
we can say when absolute x minus 1 is less than 4 that means it will be less than equal to 4 but greater than equal to minus 4 so it is within the region from minus 4 to plus 4 correct so that becomes our double inequality for this given inequality correct so now we can solve this inequality how we will add 1 on both the sides. If I add 1 on both the sides, I get minus 4 plus 1 is less than equal to x is less than equals to 4 plus 1. When I add 1 here, minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. So I get x here, right? So I say x is less than equals to minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. And here it is 5. So x is between minus 3. So this point is at minus 3 and this is at 5. Correct? So that is our answer. Let's try to analyze our answer once. What really happened here was that the center of our absolute function shifted, right? It shifted instead of 0, it became came at 1, right? So this center is actually at 1, right? And it, as you can see, you are far you are 4 units away from 1 to 5. Do you see that? And how much away are you on the left side? 4 units. The same 4 units. Do you see? That? four units away. So x minus one shifts the center. So in this case, on a number line, I can show the solution like this. Let's say this is our zero. Then actually our center shifted to one, right? And then we have four units on this side and four units on this side. So this is minus three. This center was shifted to one and four units make it five. Do you see that? Because it is less than equal to, we'll fill this up and then draw a line as a solution for this, correct? So that is the solution of this absolute inequality when solving like this. So whenever we have a double in inequality, when we have a inequality of less than type in absolute function, we can always write it as a double inequality where we say the function is within plus and minus of these values correct and then we can easily get our answer okay i hope you understand the concept and appreciate the way it has been graphically shown and the answer could be written on a number line as i've shown here or as an inequality as i've shown here right so both ways are correct thank you